have a connection to John Lopez. I'd be calling Mayor Marty Walsh on Monday asking for a parking space. <laughs> you know? Well, let's start looking through your tree and, and sure. seeing exactly what we can find. Now, we search through vital land and probate records. And as we start following your line back, we get to a man with the first name of Winthrop. Now, normally, we say, okay, well, that means there's got to be a connection with your family. That isn't always the case. People pick the name of famous, famous people to pick up as first names in their family tree. Yeah. Now, as we go back, we find Winthrop Hilton, so another first name of Winthrop. And as we go back just a bit further, we hit a Mary Winthrop. So now we have the surname. But, you know, Mike, I'm not going to keep you waiting. <laughs> You are the 11th great grandson of Governor John Winthrop. <laughs> I am. You are. For sure. For sure. Oh, 120%. Thank you. Woo. Oh, feel good? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I'd like to say I'm speechless, but we all know that's not going to happen. Now, I have another Boston founder to get you on your family tree. <laughs> Mary Winthrop, so John Winthrop, <laughs> married a man named Samuel Dudley. And Samuel Dudley's father was none other than Governor Thomas Dudley. He's also your 11th great grandfather. Whoa, whoa. Feeling better? <laughs> Feeling mighty fine. <laughs> wow. So both Winthrop and Dudley, of course, were Puritans. And the best way to think about it is think of the Puritans as working to purify the church, but also the world around them. Now, how did Winthrop and Dudley, who were born in England, end up in this area that we now know as Boston? At that time, King Charles was cracking down on any attempts to reform both the church and the government. So Winthrop and Dudley were looking for another place where they felt like they could exercise their religion a bit more freely. And so they thought the New World would actually allow them to do that. They obtained a charter to establish the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1629. Wow. That's amazing. I, 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 I'm trying to process it all as you're talking. Yeah, well, take your time. Yeah. Take your time. These are your 11th grade grandfathers. What a pair. Uh, yeah, what a pair. <laughs> what a pair. Now, Thomas Dudley, while he was serving as a leader in the colony, signed a charter for a place that literally has changed the world. It was Governor Thomas Dudley that signed the charter in 1650 to establish Harvard College. Wow. Wow. You know, taking that red line over to Harvard now, you can say, yep, 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 Dudley did that. I'd love to go to school there. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Part of the fun thing that we can do on Dean's Your Road Show is introduce you to your family. And what I wanted to do was to actually take you through a few of your cousins. Yeah. Ready? I'm, I'm ready. All right, all right. Do you have any idea who this is? I don't know who that is. This is Anne Bradstreet. She's actually the first published female poet in America, and she's your 10th great aunt. Wow. And that actually continued up until the modern day. Have you ever seen this guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't recognize him. That, that's all right. This is Tennessee Williams, oh, oh, the, the famous American playwright, who's your sixth cousin's wife removed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, let's keep going. Your cousins include dashing leading men, such what? as Humphrey... Yeah! Humphrey Bogart? Humphrey Bogart! <laughs> Cultural icon, star of Casablanca. Oh, man. Are, are you getting embarrassed? No, I, I think that's great. I love him. <laughs> he, he's your eighth cousin three times removed. That's where you get your looks. Yeah. But you also have absolute pioneers. You probably recognize a picture of this incredibly oh, influential... Amelia Earhart? Yep. The female pilot is your 11th cousin twice removed. While Amelia Earhart reached for the sky, this man reached for the stars. Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard, the first American to travel in space, the fifth person to walk on the moon, is your eighth cousin twice removed. Wow. That's amazing. That's quite a family legacy. It's quite a family. And you know what? I forgot one relative. There's one more. Sorry, sorry. <gasps> I'm your 13th cousin once removed. <laughs> Isn't genealogy fun? <laughs> it's awesome. This is the favorite part of my day right here. Wow. 